In March 2007, Belmont launched the Belmont Goes Green Initiative, a comprehensive effort to keep the campus environmentally conscious and sustainable. And despite the challenges and extra effort involved, the Belmont administration plans to keep the campus green for the presidential debate and its related events. One of the largest challenges the university faces is keeping Belmont green with so many additional people on campus. The largest group that's going to be here is the media. Um, and they're working hard to take care of their needs without you know, ruining something or creating large amounts of waste. One way Belmont plans to stay green during the debate is through a more environmentally friendly take on the traditional media press kit. We are creating an electronic press kit this year for the debate that uh, will include all of that material on a jump drive that will be handed out to the uh, members of the media when they come for their credentialing. In addition to electronic press kits, members of the media will receive gift bags made of recyclable and reusable materials. Also, all communication to debate sponsors and host committee members will be done electronically. The university will also use shuttle buses to reduce the environmental impact of traditional transportation. We will be encouraging the use of uh, mass transportation during the debate itself <clears throat> by staging all transportation to and from the site on shuttle buses uh, from an off-site location that everyone who'll be coming to campus will be directed to go to. And so that will uh, hopefully help cut down on the amount of traffic congestion and you know, uh, vehicle pollution around campus uh, over the debate period. Belmont administrators and students hope the debate will bring attention to the university's efforts to stay environmentally conscious. Well, it's part of Belmont's whole initiative to be going green and, you know, they made the commitment to try to be sustainable in every way that they can and so step by step getting there, I think this is a really good opportunity for them to show that they actually are committed to it. It's kind of a unique approach in terms of just uh, driving home the message that Belmont uh, made this effort to try to be green as part of our uh, debate preparations and hopefully uh, create some positive publicity for the university. Belmont officials also hope that being in the international spotlight will encourage students and faculty to be even more environmentally conscious. The thing that I think the debate has done for this movement is by having as much international scrutiny as the campus is getting, the desire to be visibly green uh, has been kind of raised to the forefront. And student environmental leaders think continued efforts by the administration to keep Belmont green will motivate more students to do the same. I think that the things that they're doing, if they make students enough aware of them, students will be encouraged by the administration doing that and want to continue in their efforts. I know there are a lot of students this year, we've had a lot more students interested in the environmental efforts at Belmont than any previous year. So it's really great to see that happening and I think this will help. Additional measures being taken to keep the campus green include making use of the university's recycling bins and making sure that food services are as environmentally friendly as possible. From Belmont, I'm Abby Selden, Vision News.